Hello, everybody. Today, I want to. Um, I'm talking to Rebecca Wheeler. She is a fellow author in North Carolina. She has written two picture books and a novel, a YA novel that with Monarch Educational Services. Actually, she's the one who introduced me to Monarch. <laughs> and uh, we were talking about SCBWI, which is the Society of Children's Book Writers and Illustrators. And today she is just going to talk to us a little bit about how SCBWI can help you as a writer market your book. Take it away. Okay. Um, I've been a member of SCBWI for a long time. Actually, right after I met Carol for the first time, that's when I joined. So um, I have found it very valuable over the years for many reasons, even before, well, now you say pre-published, even before I was published. Um I think some of the uh, most helpful things is just knowing that they're giving you information that you can trust. Um, unfortunately, now there's lots of scams out there for new authors to market, publish, pay lots of money to market and public, um, market rather books. Um, and if you know the information is coming from SCBWI, it's been checked, it's been peer reviewed, it's been evaluated to make sure that, so you know it's legitimate from whatever source is coming from. So I think for me, that's one of the biggest things is that when I look up whether it's uh, marketing ideas, whether it's agents, whether it's even publishers, I know that they've been checked been and they mm -hmm. right and verified because there are a whole lot of scams. And I, um, you know, if you've published any book, I mean, every day, pr pr practically every day, I get some sort of message from someone trying to sell me a review or um, something like that almost every day. And so it just helps you kind of cipher this, you know, siphon through all that information. I think the other biggest thing is networking. Um, the event that I'm doing next month with the one of the chapters for the Reading Association, North Carolina, and the Science Museum, I um, am doing it because I met someone through my Ignite writing group through SCBWI. So I think the networking is the biggest, other biggest thing is that you network with other authors who can help you book events. And so um, that is take advantage of all of those if you can be in a critique group, um, we did a mingle meetup last weekend in the um, Chapel Hill area. So taking advantage of all of those kinds of meet meetups, you meet other people and can network with people locally. Um, it's great to meet people online, but there is something about meeting them in person. You give that little bit extra connection. Um, so that's another thing. Uh, and then every year, the larger SEWI, the national organization, um, does that book stop where you can get advertisement on their website. Um, and I think it's $25 a book. You design a page and they push out media all month to help you um, advertise your book. But you can also have your, um, just with your membership, have your media page with the big SCWI. Um, so I do a lot of several of the webinars. It's great to be able to do the webinars on the West Coast. I, took one of the agent webinars in December and it was out, I think the LA chapter, but it was open to anyone. So th those are nice. So just take really taking advantage of your membership. <laughs> so, yeah. And both uh, you and I are mm -hmm. members of the Carolinas region. Which is the best one. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> of course, Carolinas. Yeah. <laughs> and they have annual conferences, I think, Yes, the conference in next September, you thinking maybe you'll present a, a workshop, right? Yeah, or that's the hope. Yeah, I just, I just need to write it up. It's sort of in my head. It's not very formulated yet, but um, that's my hope. I uh, went this past year to the retreat, which was a kind of a mini conference. It only had just over 60 people, but that was a lot of fun. I definitely say go to a conference because you are able to meet people face to face. Um, you might meet people that you would never seen. Otherwise you get to interface with agents and editors. And a lot of times I would say probably all the time, um, they'll give you exclusive submission links for people who submitted to the conference. So um, that's another 
advantage of going to the SCBD eye conferences. Sorry, my cat's tail just sweeped through. So, <laughs> so back so. in the day when I first was with SCBWI and it was snail mail, you would write yeah. the envelope yep. for SCBWI submission. Yeah. Now, you know, people want to know that in your query letter. They want mm -hmm. your agents or publishers will want to know that you are an SCBWI. And um, so to, if you don't know the organization, just go to scbwi.org and you'll get a lot of information that way. Yep. All right. Okay. Big, well, biggest plug I have for aspiring writers is to that's, join. That's true. <laughs> that is true. I mean, it is the, it is an international organization and um, editors and agents and publishers want to know that you are a part of that. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, all right. Well, thank you very much for that. You're welcome. All right. Bye.